Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, going over the uh, mission that I built here for Vietnam Scenario. Uh, I've added a mission briefing uh, to give you all the information that you need to know as far as playing the actual mission. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here. We'll jump over to the battlefield here in just a moment. There you go. Kind of an overview. Now again, the labels are on. Um, and as you'll notice here in the top corner, I've added some queuing as well. Uh, just to give you an idea of you know what's going on uh, within the mission framework and so we're looking at the uh, LZ uh, from the enemy perspective and like I said you'll see uh, in the distance here uh, the notification that blue smoke has been kicked off on the FARP uh, and you'll see it there in the distance um, that is kind of a permanent smoke just to give you an idea uh, you know where to go to uh, rearm, refuel, and all that kind of stuff. And just to gander around the battlefield again here real quick, uh, the overall objective of the village being over there on the right hand side. And as our chalks approach, here we go, uh, you'll also get an orange smoke marker uh, to lead you into the landing area. So. We'll start to hear reports. Uh, the audio is a little low, but you'll hear the reports and, and see the reports of the artillery being uh, being fired into the uh, LZ area here. And actually, it's going to end up hitting the troop that I'm focused on. And I'll have to break away here in just a moment. Come back. And it was rather bad timing, as a matter of fact, because as I'm changing views to get back to another another unit to look at, um, the whole firestorm kicks off, and you'll see that coming up here momentarily. As well, there was a significant rework um, of my F4s, uh, as well as the uh, Cobras uh, doing casts. I found out that I was uh, giving them too many missions, either via waypoint or by the triggered event thing, and it was actually causing some problems. Uh, so now, um, I, like I said, with those, with those changes, uh, it, it's much better. Flows so much better. Um, they actually come in, do what they're supposed to do, um, and that was really obviously what I was looking for. So, again, so we're going to get back into the uh, battlefield here. And again, by the time we do, uh, the chocks are making their way in and getting settled toward the ground. And so we'll focus back in here on, on little dude here. And as you can see, the shitstorm has kicked off. So the choppers are on the ground. They're starting to offload their infantry, and the firefight breaks out. Uh, so this is kind of the the idea that I had initially, um, you know, when doing the the research, uh, you know, again for landings in Vietnam, uh, they talked a great deal about how you know the the soldiers would approach the wood line, but they wouldn't fire until the helicopters, you know, were vulnerable. Uh, so here we go they've approached the wood line and this is all based off just waypoint timings I just you know kept doing this kept doing this until I got the timings right uh, I didn't set up the specific time to be at any uh, certain waypoint uh, I had a lot of trouble a lot of trouble with the timings I'm gonna have to do some more research as far as how to get the you know time on target or, or whatever they call it in, D in DCS to actually uh, you know make things make things happen that way but as we can see, like I said, we've got a big old firefight going on on the LZ uh, Stratford Inn. Uh, for any of you who are Manchester fans, you'll understand why I picked that name. Um, but anyway, uh, like I said, much, much more organic now. Um, and again, this is all just AI driven. Uh, you know, this is the way I kind of tested a few different times just with the AI. Let it do its thing, play its, its, its uh, way out. Uh, you know, with, without the player or me in this case, you know, having any of having any effect on the battle itself. So, looks good, and you'll be responsible, obviously, for flying in there and flying through some of this mayhem. 
Um, I did have one person test it. Um, he did notice that there was a little uh, lag spike uh, with the last one, and uh, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't get his machine specs. I'll, I'll probably have to ask again if he if he gets to play this again. You know, just what kind of uh, machine he's running, so I can make sure that I'm not overloading. And here we see the F4 Phantoms come in, uh, doing a carpet bomb strike in the Ville. <coughs> Uh, I was also out able to add some uh, scenery destruction and smoke uh, to have that kick off in the ville and kind of in the background. Uh, but again, you know, once you clear the LZ um, and the troops start moving off, you can go uh, back to the far, rearm, uh, and then go help in the ville as well. Um, I did move the anti-aircraft guns. They were initially a little bit closer to the LZ and were causing all kinds of problems for the... Uh, attack helicopters that you'll see right there. Um, as well, um, the infantry troops over in the Ville, and for whatever reason, uh, those things are almost impossible to kill. Uh, those little quad uh, quad 50s. So I've had them bombed, and they're sitting right in the bomb crater, and they're still shooting and stuff. So I'm not really sure it might be a DCS thing. Uh, but again, I uh, hope you all enjoy it. Uh, again, quick update for the Vietnam mission. Uh, they have been updated on, again, my OneDrive and the Google Drive. Uh, so if you want to download and play this, uh, you'll need the World War II asset packs. And so everyone stay uh, safe out there and keep your nose up and your wings level.